All right, guys. I'm Chris. Welcome to VHB. This, this is uh, probably gonna be <clears throat> short and sweet, just because, um, just to give like the basic answer to this question. You know, uh, looking into it, uh, there's not really much to talk about, honestly. When you're talking about like on just a basic, like as a basic bolt-on type deal. Um, sorry about that. I forgot that motherfucker was on. Uh, so K20 head on a K24 block. A lot of people do it. Better flow. It gives a little bit more horsepower up top. The uh, K20s are meant to flow better for more horsepower. The K24, just like its B20 older cousin, it's a, it's a torque engine. It's it's meant for hauling a heavier load. So the uh, the design is uh, in the head is geared towards making more torque. So um, whatever whatever head uh, horsepower gain you get on top from the uh, horse uh, from horsepower for horsepower from the k20 head you will lose torque from the uh, the k24 and i think it's it's close to the same it's a close trade-off and you're not looking at a huge jump i think you're maybe looking at like 10 maybe 15 torque foot pounds torque and then you're looking at fucking 10 maybe 15 horsepower wheel horsepower so um if you're just doing like a stock long block or whatever and you're looking just to do the k20 frank it's really not worth it unless you're just trying to milk out a pretty dyno chart i don't think you're gonna notice much you're gonna notice much power in your ass when you're sitting in a car um i guess that the only way i would really worry too much about that at all is if um i was doing na and i was planning on doing cams and high compression then yeah i would probably do the uh, the head swap but even then it would only be like if i had one available i wouldn't let that be the fact that it would hold me up from finishing my long block like if i had a full you know, true IV Tech K24, I wouldn't worry about going out of my way to look for another head. Um, or if you got a K24 block and you're looking for a head to go onto this real VTEC and you have the option of getting a K24A2 head, I'd probably go with that. Uh, I don't know about where the fuck you may be at, but on average in South Florida, K24A2 heads sell for $250. And um, I've seen some $300, $400 K20 heads. Um, it's just the fact is that uh, the K24 heads seem to be more prevalent and I think it's just because of the fact that people are throwing them away pretty much to go with the K20 head and I really don't think that that is justified like especially if you really look into it but then again you know to be honest honest to make real real if you're doing if you're doing a K20 or if you're doing the K series NA build and you're really trying to maximize gains NA and you're doing that through the head then look at four piston look at the four piston head because yeah I mean I think was it the, the cheapest head they got right now will make 300 as, as making 300 horsepower on a pump gas and it's $1,200 or 1250 so I mean considering the money that people are paying to go K and uh, make a really high horsepower in a build I really don't think it's you know it's that it's, it's that discouraging to look at that price tag although I think that is the price for the bare head you still gotta buy the valve train and whatnot but um, anyway that's just that so just a quick opinion on it and not really too much to it guys um i don't think that i would worry about it if i was doing it if i had if i already had a full k24 i would not be worrying about removing the head to go find a k20 head for that little bit of a horsepower spike it's not gonna really make that much difference all right guys um uh, thanks for watching and peace